everyone. I come to you today uh, to stress a concern, and that concern is the declining number of hunters and the heritage of the outdoors. Um, I feel there are several things that are contributing to this. Uh, some of it we cannot control, some of it we can control. Um, the numbers show that there is about 34 to 36 million licensed hunters, permit holders, tag holders, stamp holders um, across the United States. Um, I've seen statistics today that shows a decline of around 2 million people um, from hunting uh, since 2005. Now, there are so many different statistics out there um, on the internet um, that show different numbers. I'm just giving you what I've seen. Um, doesn't mean it's right, um, but it is still a concern. One of the things that I feel that we can do as hunters is promoting the hunting through today's youth. Um, whether it be um, shooting sports, uh, 4-H, um, high school programs such as archery in the schools, which I think are all great tools to promote the outdoors and getting children outside. Um, as parents, as uncles, aunts, uh, grandpas, grandmas, um, it is our responsibility to promote this. Um, if you want to pass along the heritage of hunting and the heritage of the outdoors, that monkey is on our back to do that with our children and our grandchildren. If we don't promote that and strike an interest in the youth, uh, hunting one day will be gone. And honestly, it scares the hell out of me uh, because it's something that I enjoy to do. It's something that I love to do. I've passed it on to my children and hopefully they will pass it on to their children. And the world needs hunting. And a lot of, a lot of people don't understand hunting and why we do it. Um, they don't understand where if we didn't control the number of animals that uh, the amount of disease and uh, massacre of gardens and uh, other plants would be affected because the number of deer, um, turkey, elk, moose, just wildlife in general would be running rampant um, across the United States. Also to add along with this, is the disease factor. If we don't control the number of animals with an overabundance of animals, they will pass disease from one to another. Um, you know, we have seen that even of most recent with uh, chronic wasting disease and hemorrhagic disease, EHD. But we've got to promote what hunting is all about. You know, hunting is a tradition, hunting is a heritage, and hunting is a freedom of choice that we are allowed to do as adults, as children, as men, as women, um, across the United States. And there is a decline. Another thing that really just sickens me, that is contributing to the declining of numbers of hunters in the United States is hunters bashing hunters. Um, unfortunately, that is what we deal with in social media. And you have a hunter who proudly poses a picture of a 110-inch buck on social media, on his Facebook, his Instagram, uh, Twitter, uh, whatever format. And somewhere out there, there is a hunter who will bash him for it. Why didn't you kill a bigger deer? I would have let him walk. It's just, it's appalling to know that this happens. You know, 
if somebody wants to shoot a 110 inch buck, they're happy about it, it's got them excited to do it, and they can't wait to post that picture, by God, let them shoot it and leave them alone. To hell with you, the person that wants to bash a hunter who is out there enjoying the outdoors, carrying on a heritage, and sharing it with the public because he's proud of it. And it, it just sickens me, the fact that this goes on. Um, if you want to bash a hunter, damn you. You know, that's just how I feel. It's our job as hunters, as outdoorsmen, to promote other hunters, support other hunters, and praise them for their glory and their enjoyment being out there struggling the heat, struggling the mosquitoes, struggling the cold, because it's something they love to do. And to me, this is completely unacceptable, the fact that there is somebody out there that will actually give another hunter a hard time because he shot a little buck. I guarantee you that person who is bashing that hunter or ridiculing him, I bet you he grew up shooting a small buck, uh, shooting does. We can't all shoot 150, 160 inch deer. Some states it's nearly impossible to have a deer that big because of the number of hunters, because of the habitat, um, just because mother nature just doesn't allow it. And hunters are happy shooting smaller bucks. I grew up shooting smaller bucks. I was excited. I wanted to shoot horns. That's part of the outdoors. That's part of conservation. That's part of helping the numbers across the United States of the animals um, as a outdoor management person um, to keep disease and famine and damage to crops, damage to gardens, um, all of that. That's why we do this. Um, it's not just the love of hunting. Um, it's not just the freedom of choice to be able to hunt. Uh, we're also conservationists. We are helping our neighbors, our people, um, by providing food for our families, um, providing security in the plants and the flowers that uh, your neighbor may plant. So um, there's a reason why we do this. But the bashing of hunters has to stop. And I hope we can get the point across. You know, if you see this on social media and you see somebody doing this, step up, say something to them, say something to whomever is um, adminning over that page, no matter what platform it is, stand up, say something, put a stop to it. You know, it's like this old truck back here behind me. Um, it may look dead, but it's not dead. And with a little love and stressing some tender loving care to that truck, um, it will continue on. What's up, Lucky? Bless you. But let's carry on the heritage of hunting. Let's carry on the, uh, the promotion of the youth, promotion of women, women in the outdoors. Um, it needs our help. As a hunter, it needs your help. So let's help. Let's put out our hands, promote the youth, promote women in the outdoors, promote brand new hunters. You know, there's somebody out there somewhere that wants to learn and know about hunting and just does not have the knowledge or the capabilities of doing it. And that's where the foundation as a hunter, the heritage as a hunter, um, we step up and we do that. Thank you for listening to me. Um, share this. Uh, spread the word. 
you know, we've got to put an end to this and we've got to continue on the heritage and the legacy of hunting. So God bless and, uh, and thank you. Hunting season is upon us, so good luck to everyone and um, hey, feed your family.